Um, I met Gene about a little over 10 years ago. Um, it was not based on a good situation. We had spent um, probably over forty to fifty thousand dollars on a private school, which is an outstanding private school. Only to find out that when my son took his SAT, that um, we didn't know how he would um, even get into an average state school. Uh, we were stunned. We thought we'd wasted money. Um, it's a very sad day in our life uh, to say. Um, one, we spent all that money for nothing, and two, uh, we felt bad for our son whose dreams were just shattered. Fortunately, my wife had been to a homeschool fair, and she met Gene Burke there. And uh, when we got the SATs, Sally gave me the number, and I remember calling Gene, and she went over several things that, at that time, there was a girl who was going to Harvard that was a fencer and Olympian, but had the same issue. And the issue was, she had some people that are very smart kids, that overanalyzed, overanalyzed everything. And uh, she said there's some basic principles, and those principles are true. It's such an important test that we can't believe that it's been reduced to simple logic. Uh, that when you see it, it's, it's unbelievable. But needless to say, Buddy went from uh, us worrying that he, if he could get into a state school, uh, worrying about the quality of his education at his school, to the next thing you know, uh, and we also thought that he'd only take three SATs and he had taken two of them. So we thought we were down to our last shot, what is not the truth. Well, he took Gene's course, took the SAT, and for that point, it's it's history. Uh, he did outstanding. It was, it was unbelievable. Uh, the next thing you know, he was accepted to Brown University, double majored in uh, uh, religion and biomedical science. Uh, went to uh, uh, a University of Texas uh, health, uh, health Medical School in Houston, which was his first choice, and now is an uh, orthopedic resident at Walter Reed in Washington, D.C., has is, uh, is operated with some of the uh, biggest politicians in the United States, which I won't miss, mention because some of you would love them and some of them wouldn't, but all of them were very nice people, he stated. W with that knowledge, we had a son that was four years younger. We just did a cookie-cutter approach. The only thing different is he didn't take it at the end of his senior year this is my other son started taking it his eighth grade year every time gene came into town every time he had an opportunity my son was there uh, every time there was an sat my son took it because most people don't recognize they're going to take the best score not the total score but the best score in your division in the end um, my middle child's basically decisions were between uh, rice cornell and west point he always wanted to go to West Point, and that's where he's graduated from. Uh, he's about to be promoted in the next couple of days to a first lieutenant and will be headed to Syria. And that's with his dreams fulfilled because he wanted to go to West Point. With that in mind, we have a third child. Michael was fortunate to start taking Jean's course, and she allowed him. And it's not a waste of money or I wouldn't be here. As a sixth grader, every time Jean is around, uh, wherever she was, Michael would be taking the College Prep Genius course. Every time there was an SAT, he would be taking the SAT course and the ACT course because it was applicable to both of them. Uh, in the end, Michael, uh, his options, he was recruited by Harvard. His final decision was between uh, Rice, University of Texas, and Harvard, Georgetown. He chose Rice in West Point. He was also uh, set in West Point. But he chose Rice, which was his initial dream that the artist wanted to go. Uh, College Genius is, is worth um, probably over a million and a half dollars as far as scholarships and going to certain graduate schools, medical schools that my kids never would have the opportunity to go to. Uh, it fulfilled their dreams. The one hang-up most people might have is there's a lot of people associate with spending a lot of money with quality. Uh, sometimes you can buy a horrible horse for a large amount of money. Uh, Gene Burke, we took the plunge because it was very inexpensive. Not only was it very inexpensive, it was well worth it. Uh, so don't let the low cost get you uh, uh, worry you because there's a lot more programs and more expensive one take the risk uh, and when you just take it it won't be a risk number two keep at it 
keep taking the course, keep at it. If your child has aspirations to go to the next level, all three of my sons are different. You can talk to their coaches, you can talk to their teachers. They're all very different. But college prep genius honed their uh, test taking skills that aren't taught in high school, that aren't taught in a lot of programs. It wasn't a memorization thing where they remember, memorized vocabulary words and, and interfered with their schoolwork. It was a method, it was a technology that once you got it down, it worked. So uh, take the plunge, try it. Uh, like I said, I had three kids, there's nothing magic about my children. They just followed a cookie cutter approach and it worked. So I suggest college prep genius. Awesome. You like it? Yeah.